What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video for uh, KringleCon, the 2018 Sands Holiday Hack Challenge. Uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at objective number four. Uh, so to review, we were just in front of One Horse Open Slay, who will offer some hints for this challenge if we solve his uh, terminal challenge. So he says, what was that password? Golly, passwords may be the end of us. Good guys can't remember them, and bad guys can't guess them. Uh, he needs to upload his chore report, but he can't remember his password. Uh, with all the automated tasks we use, there's got to be some way to kind of find it in memory. So, okay, we can check out the uh, hints that he offered us in the badge that we have here. If we take a look at the hints, we can see the plain text credentials in commands. So this opens up an article uh, that references all the passwords that you can pass to a program maybe on the command line or when you're invoking the program. Those can be kind of kept in memory, maybe. I, I, yeah, I mean, obviously, I guess memory is where, where it's going to be stored. Uh, but the PS command or the processes command on Linux would be able to kind of take a look and, and, and see those if they're noted on the command line. So let's take a look at that in the challenge here. Hit back to get back to the game. And let's open up the Docker container to start the challenge. So they want us to complete this challenge by uploading the else report.txt file to the somber share at localhost report upload. So if we ls, we can see the report.txt file. There's nothing particularly interesting in it, but we can, you know, work with it. So if we wanted to run Samba client, that is what we can use to connect to a server, and then we need to sorry, excuse me, particularly say, I want the Samba client running uh, this service with a given password. So if I were to try, let's use Samba client, and this is going to localhost, so forward slash forward slash localhost, SMB client, forward slash forward slash localhost, and then report upload. It says, enter the else password, and we have no idea what this might be, right? So password or anything, and that fails. NT status access denied. So what do we do? Like there's not a whole lot that we can particularly work with. There's nothing in the report that we can see. Um, maybe some of the client can be worked with like a no password option. And uh, I've tried that a couple times. I tried using username. When I was first going through this, I did some peculiar and interesting things. Um, but what I've come to know now that I've kind of looked at that hint is if we were to take a look at the PS command, by default, it doesn't give us a whole lot of information. But if we say PS AUX or PS AUX, it'll show us all of the things, right? Except root is running some commands, manager is running some commands, elf is running some commands. Elf is us, right? That's peculiar that there's a manager on this box. If we take a look at etc. password, we know that he is a regular user account. There's also a user called report upload, which is peculiar. Um, I started a deep dive and I tried to see, oh, can I move into the home directory of some of these users? Uh, well, I was able to move into report upload. That's readable and stuff, but there's nothing particularly good in here. Uh, couldn't get into manager. That was a bummer because it seemed like he was the one doing cool stuff. Again, PS aux, that kind of offers a little bit here anyway. But all these commands that we see them running, bin bash, manager is running, so root being running, sudo u manager, switching to a user, sudo u elf, bin bash, peculiar, manager's running, user bin python, python something, etc. So the hard part here is that the command column in the PS aux output isn't giving us the full full command, right? It's being truncated or kind of cut off at the end here. And I know that this is actually an issue with the uh, columns environment variable, but if you were to, if you didn't want to extend or, or expand that columns environment variable because it wouldn't match your terminal, what you can do is actually just pipe PS aux to less. And that will all actually just show you the whole line here. And if you wanted to, you can use your left and right arrow keys to scroll left and right. It looks like it's trying to wrap it there, though. But if we just move to the right, you can see sudo u manager, home manager, samba wrapper, blah, blah, blah. They're also calling samba manager wrapper again. It looks like that's a script, something peculiar to that manager account. No certificate, extraneous arguments, do not run as Tyler. Looks like there are some peculiar arguments here, right? But it's trying to connect to localhost report upload, so just where we want to be. It's supplying a password, nice, direct reindeer flattery stable, <laughs> uh, and using TAC U, TAC capital U to denote the user. So it wasn't the ELF user that we wanted, but we're using the those shared credentials, just like it's kind of said in the prompt or hinted towards. Report upload is the account that we want, and then direct reindeer flattery stable will work for us. So that's kind of neat. Uh, other things, if, if you don't want to use less, uh, something that you can do is just knowing the process ID that you're looking for, in this case 11, maybe 10 for you or whatever. Um, if you just grep for specifically that one or any line that might have it in there, just try and get grep to process that line because grep will wrap the whole thing for you and there you've got your 
your prompt and the whole command. So, all right, now we know the user account that we can connect to. Um, I actually did this a peculiar way, not realizing that I could do those less things or grep things with PS aux. What I did is I went to the proc directory in Linux because that has all the processes that are running kind of accessible as files, right? Uh, in the file system structure that Linux likes to do. So I went into folder 11 there because that's a process ID for that process. And I can't access all of these things because manager is kind of the one that's running that program, but I can at least check out the command line file. And that's gonna allow me to like see what is the command that's being ran here. So if I cat command line, it gives me all this, but the spaces aren't in there. So this was kind of crappy. I literally guessed that direct reindeer flattery stable was all one word. And then I just could tell that, okay, it's using tack you to use a report user here. But I think that PS aux pipe to less or pipe to grep, uh, pipe to grep, sorry, is certainly a, a better option. Anyway, let's go ahead and try and upload this thing, right? We want to use Samba client to localhost forward slash report upload and we will use tack u actually let's just go ahead and type in the password here let's do the exact same thing that they're doing which we know now is bad but whatever <laughs> don't actually have that mentality I'm, I'm a horrible person now we're logged in right awesome okay we got the prompt here we can ls uh we can lls no we can't i'm thinking of ftp my bad uh let's go ahead and put report.txt. Looks like it put it just there. You can see the achievement generated and it's getting some success message for us. You have found the credentials I had forgotten and uh, we're good. Congratulations. Cool. All right. Let's close out of this now uh, and let's go talk to One Horse OpenSight now that we've completed that terminal challenge. He says, thank goodness for the command line passwords and thank you for your help. Speaking of good things, have you found or ever heard of Truffle Hog? Hmm. It's a cool way to dig through repositories for passwords, RSA keys, and more. I mean, no one ever uploads sensitive credentials to public repositories anyway, but if they did, this would be a great tool for finding them. But hey, listen to me ramble. If you're interested in Truffle Hog, you should check out Brian Hostetler's talk. Sorry, Brian, if I'm butchering your name. <laughs> Have you tried the entropy equals true option when running Truffle Hog? It's amazing how much deeper it will dig. Okay, oh my, Santa's castle is under siege. We're trapped inside and can't leave. The toy soldiers are blocking all the exits. We're all prisoners. That's getting into the narrative and the storyline here. So if you haven't heard of Truffle Vlog, Truffle Log, tr Truffle Hog, Truffle Hog, <laughs> you can go ahead and Google this here. I'll get to Google. Truffle Hog. And then I guess we can go to GitHub. And Truffle Hog. Very, very cool. Searches through Git repositories for secrets, digging deep into commit history and branches. This is effective at finding secrets accidentally committed. Looks like it will be able to find anything particular or like secret keys. Um, how it works. Module will go through the entire commit history of each branch and check each diff from each commit and check for secrets. This is both by regex and by entropy. For entropy checks, Truffle will evaluate the Shannon entropy for both the base64 character set and the hexadecimal. That's some, that's some science. That's some mad stuff. That's, <laughs> all right, very cool. Let's go ahead and work with this. I'm going to get clone this, and I'm going to end up doing this on my own uh, command computer here, right? So let's get a terminal open. Can I have a terminal, please? Come on, computer. My hotkey's not working. Where are they at? Where are my terminals at? All right, cool. Got one set up. I'm going to put this in the temporary directory. I'll just make a holiday hack challenge thing. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see everything I'm doing here. I'm going to go ahead and git clone this so I have it. And I also want to go ahead and git clone the repository that we're working with for this challenge, for Objective 4 here. So, sorry, I probably just leaked the password again <laughs> by showing the static page. But data repo analysis, we're giving this git repository here. Okay, great. GitLab. Looks like some stuff I have to do is git clone it. Great. Let's just do that. Let's go ahead and, oh, geez, I didn't even put truffle hog in my HHC directory that I made. Let's git clone this as well. Great. So if I were to go to truffle hog, um, we can install it if we want. Let's do Python setup install. Oh, <laughs> I should use Python 3. This is my New Year's resolution, actually. I, I, I moved my uh, path for Python. This is funny. I moved 
to I replaced the regular default Python path to have Python 3 say use Python 3. I hope Python 3 can actually do this thing. I, uh, I don't even know if this will run. Let's try and run it with sudo. Looks like it installs a okay. Cool. So now if I try and type truffle hog, it is a command that I can work with. And we need to know uh, a directory that we're going to work in. So let's actually move to that Santa's castle automation. And we can try and just run truffle hog, right, with the period to denote this current directory. So when I run this, whoa, got a lot of stuff. Peculiar temporary thing. So it looks like something broke. Maybe yours didn't do that. Python 3 is now <laughs> handling it rather than Python 2. So neato. That's because I guess that's how I installed it, but maybe Python 2 wouldn't do that. All right, scrolling through this output anyway, getting into the important stuff. Sorry sorry for rambling here. It says, our lead InfoSec engineer, Bushy Evergreen, has noticed an increase of brute force attacks in our logs. Furthermore, Alabaster discovered and published a vulnerability with our password length at the last hacker conference. <laughs> Bushy directed our elves to change the password to lock down our sensitive files to something stronger. Good thing he caught it before the dastardly villains did. Hopefully this is the last time we have to change our password again until next Christmas. Password is yippee ki -yay. Huh. Okay, cool. That's pretty secure. Um, I did not, while I was going through this, uh, while I was trying to solve this challenge on my own, uh, the first time I went through the holiday hack challenge, this year's anyway, I, I tried, like, f -crack zip. I tried to literally brute force the... Uh, the zip file, and the zip file is in, by the way, if we were to kind of find here and then grep for things that end with a zip extension, you can see it's in schematics. So I tried to unzip it, ventilation, blah, 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 but I didn't have the right password. I tried to have crack zip. I didn't get it. Um, so if we were to actually supply yippee ki -yay, now we can go ahead and extract all these things. But Obviously, they don't want us to have these files. They don't particularly matter. If I were to go in a ventilation diagram and view them all, they're just nonsense, right? It, they, they, the Sans Holiday Hack Challenge and CrinkleCon wanted the password. So that's yippee ki -yay. So that's what Truffle Hog helped us just get and, and uncover. Um, and again, I didn't even realize that Truffle Hog was part of the hints while I was going through this. What I had done, well, and this is my, my crappy way of doing things, is I would run git log and... You've probably seen me create this crappy one-liner before, but I I used to grep for commit, and then I would cut up for the second field, and then I would do a little crappy wow read line, and then, so I want to show you that I have the line as a SHA, oh, sorry, got to throw a do in there. So now I have the SHA1 commit identifier for every single commit. I would literally just do git show on this, and then I would literally look at the source code that's kind of being presented to me for every single... Oh, you can see some interesting stuff in there, though, private keys. <laughs> I, would, I would see the git commit message and log and everything, all the diff for every single commit that is part of that repository. And yeah, kind of going through it by hand sucks, but you will find interesting things, right? What I had done, even, is I tried to look after... Is if you wanted to grep through the entire repository, you have all this output. Try and grep tack I for stuff like password, and then you'll get a lot of interesting information, right? So password equals yippee ki -yay. You'll just like strings, essentially, for an entire Git repository, or if you want to do strings everything, you, you certainly could here. So interesting, interesting techniques and tactics. Obviously, there's more than one way to skin a cat in Linux, and you'll hear people say that all the time. Truffle Hog is really cool, though. I'd never seen that tool before. So let's go ahead and submit that. Let's go ahead and, and, and do this thing. Password is yippee ki -yay. Submit. Green check mark. All right. Awesome. Let's go keep moving. Keep the flow going. Using the data set contained in the SAN slingshot Linux image. Okay. That's an OVA file, by the way. It's going to, I think it's about a gig big. I've never said that before in my life. It's about a gig big. <laughs> it's one gigabyte large, if that's more scientific. Uh, so go ahead and click on that now and get this download started. If It's going to take some time, right? depending on your internet connection. When, what, excuse me, wow. Find a reliable path, a reliable path. I gotta stop, man, I'm doing too many videos. <laughs> Find a reliable path from a Kerberoastable user to the domain admins group. What's the user's logon name? Remember to avoid RDP as a control path as it depends on separate local privilege escalation. For hints on achieving this objective, please visit Holly Evergreen and help her with the Curling Master Cranberry Pie Terminal Challenge. Let's go find Holly Evergreen. I think she was somewhere. 
Okay, so here we are. We made it to Holly Evergreen. Let's go ahead and see what she has to say. Hi, I'm Holly Evergreen. Oh, that bushy. That's weird. <laughs> Sorry to vent, but that brother of mine did something strange. The trigger to restart the candy cane striper... I was going to say something else. A little too many Ps there. It's apparently an arcane HTTP something. I didn't read that. <laughs> Sometimes wonder if all IT folks do strange things with their home networks. Um, candy cane is apparently an arcane HTTP call or two. Uh, okay. So, let's take a look at this terminal challenge. I'm Holly Evergreen, and now you won't believe. Once again, the striper stopped. I think I might just leave. But she set it up to start in a website call. Darn if I can curl it on. My Linux skills appall. Could you be our curling master fixing up this mess? If you are, there's one concern you must surely address. Something's off about the config file, or the conf, <laughs> that Bushy put in place. Can you overcome the snag and save us all some face? Complete this challenge by submitting the right HTTP request to the server at localhost 8080 to get the candy striper started again. You may view the contents of the Nginx file at the etc. Nginx folder if it's helpful. Okay, so we can uh, take a look at this challenge in the next video, um, but looks like it's going to be doing some HTTP2 stuff. So uh, I haven't been showcasing a lot of the talks for the KringleCon, although a lot of the stuff that we're doing is kind of correlating to different parts of it. So if you want, and I think you definitely should, like watch or listen to some of these talks, uh, Chris LG and Chris Davis is the one that's coming up for HTTP2 and is a pointer towards this Cranberry Pie challenge. So definitely take a look at that. But uh, that's enough of me talking. I was uh, quite a ramble, so uh, I'll call it quits for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying these. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Beep, 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 beep.